Hey guys, Peyton Snape back here again for another DVD and Blu-ray update for you guys today. This is my December 26th DVD and Blu-ray update. I got 10 movies here to talk about. I got 9 Blu-rays and 1 DVD. And um, <clears throat> this is actually the last um, Blu-ray and DVD update for this year. So, because you know, next week is going to be 2019. Um, I got some pretty interesting stuff here. I got a Canadian Blu-ray. I got a steel book. I got a Scream and Shout Factory title. I got I got a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, so let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Hopefully you guys can see, because you know um, the way my light lighting is for these kind of videos are just not that good. But the first two I got here, and both of these I got on Amazon. Um, and I've, I've been wanting to see these for a while, and I, I watched them. I really like them both. But uh, that is a. Uh, both of the Bill and Ted movies. I got Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey here, on both on Blu-ray. I know this came out from Shout Factory as well, but I didn't think I needed that because since we have this Bare Bones release, but and I, I know they came out to, to Shout Factory a couple years ago. Um, I wanted to wait until like a, uh, a standalone release of this came out, and finally it has. But the Steelbook was only limited, so that's why I got these right away. Because I knew that pretty soon that this one, this movie, this one would go out of print. Now, um, I heard that there was going to be a third movie coming out, uh, which would be called Bill and Ted Face the Music. Um, so I am ready for that one. I don't know how it's going to work, really, because they're too old now. But um, yeah, but this one is basically about uh, Bill and Ted. They, um, they're they failing all these like uh, tests that had to be done. There's this one test that they had to do. And... Uh, I think if, if I think it was like if they don't if they didn't pass then I think one of them had to go to like military school or something I, I can't remember what it was but um but they end up going and um meeting um George Carlin's character which is Rufus and um I tell he tells them to go into this uh they basically you have to go into this they go back in time like what, how they do that is they go into this uh telephone booth and you know they they dial a year on on the phone thing that they want to go to and 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 the phone booth takes them there um like uh there was one where they went back in time where george or not george uh abraham lincoln was president and billy the kid i think that's his name was when he was alive doing his uh robin thing i don't know this was actually a pretty neat movie i actually really thought this was pretty funny i I personally like this one. Um, this was actually pretty neat. And definitely, if you guys haven't seen any both of the movies, definitely check them out. And it's check the TV show, too. Well, there was a, a show that came on. Um, it was a cartoon. I think it was just called Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures. Um, but, and I remember I got, like, some of the episodes of that on DVD for a dollar at a Dollar Tree. So, But, yeah, I really do love this movie. And I, I do like the sequel as much. Which is uh, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. And yeah, this is the steel book here. Um, here's the back. Here's some artwork and fun. I'm sorry about that, Goyer, guys. I, like I said, my lighting in these rooms, especially at night, they're just so freaking terrible. But um, hopefully you guys can see this. But this is the um, this is the one where... Um, the one about death. I think... Or was, it, was it either death or the Grim Reaper? I can't remember. But um, it was when um, there's these robots, uh, Bill and Ted. They're they're called Evil Bill and Ted, and basically end up killing Bill and Ted, and um, they end up going to hell, and um, basically they end up meeting Death or the Grim Reaper. And this one was, I don't know, this one was actually pretty pretty funny as well. This was this one was just as good as the first one. But yeah, I'm I'm really interested now in seeing what they do with this new one because I mean. I just, I just don't know if it would work. I mean, I, I don't know. We'll just have to see. It, it comes out in the year 2020, so we're just going to have to see how that goes. Because I know George Carlin died, so, I mean, I don't know who would replace him. And I know it's... That whole replacement stuff, it's okay, but I just... There's just something about that I just don't really like. I don't know. It, it, it just feels like... <laughs> Like, you know, Wes Craven died. Um, if they do a Scream 5, how the heck would that work? 
you know, because, you know, of course, Wes Craven was the one who who directed all of them, basically. I don't know. I don't know. That's just what I what I think, in my opinion. I mean, how would that stuff even work? I, I don't even know if there will be a Scream 5, but it probably won't be. All right, the next one here I got. This is a Canadian Blu-ray. Um, like this one I got from Amazon. Um, and hope I'm surprised there is no Blu-ray release of this in the U.S. yet. I'm, I'm I'm having a feeling the way this looks. It looks like there there could be one from Scream and Shout Factory in the future. I don't know. But this is the movie Cube here on Blu-ray. This is one of those Canadian movies I've been wanting to uh, check. I've been wanting to own for a long for a while now. And this is one of those ones. This is actually like a really creepy movie. This is basically like the, the Saw movies. Um, and the, like one of the earlier like movies like Saw. But this this is basically about a group of these people who wake up in this cube. And um, they don't know how they got there. They're trying to figure out how they got there. And they have, they have, they're, they're trying to figure out a way out of the cube. And basically if they go in the wrong room, it's a trap. It, it's like they have to solve these, like, numbers or these, like, fraction-like numbers or something. I, I can't remember what they were. I think if, if, it, if it was Prime, then it's a trap or something. I don't know. I always really kind of like this one. I know there's sequels, too. I think the second one was called Hypercube or Cube 2 or something. And the third one was called Cube Zero, which the third one was, like, a prequel. I mean, I I didn't really care for the sequels that much. I mean, the second one, I did kind of like how, how, um... It was, like, a little bit more gory. It had, like, it went a little bit more crazy. The third one, it it just bored the heck out of me. I don't know. I heard something about in the future there's going to be a uh, remake of this, uh, except they want to call call the remake called, called Cubed. So I don't know exactly how it would work. But, yeah, but I definitely check this one out if you guys haven't seen it. Because I know there is a... There is a couple Canadian uh, releases on Blu-ray that I would really like to get my hands on. I know there's two that are out of print. Uh, I know the Black Xmas remake is out of print uh, from Canadian. I know there's a Frisian Free release of the German, the German Blu-ray, and um, the remake of the the Hitcher is out of print as well. Um, but I have a feeling both of those are going to come out the the U.S. from Scream and Shout Factory. Factory at some point. I have a feeling that Scream and Shout Factory Special will put out like probably like a new like artwork cover for the remake of Black Christmas. I know I know the remake of the Black Christmas wasn't really as uh, that great of a movie because of course you know the, the original one's always the good one and yes it is a good movie but I don't know. But I probably should have waited until there was like a release of this in the U.S. But you know what? It's okay. There is no special features on this, by the way. It's just a movie, and that's it. In case you guys are wondering, yes. Not that it really matters, but there is a, um, what do you call it? A reverse for artwork, but it's but it's in French. It's the French one, because, you know, this is from Canada. Yeah, but I always really like that movie. All right, the next one here. I've pretty much just gotten every everything from Amazon that I really wanted so much. And this is one of the ones I really wanted on Blu-ray so bad. Um... But that was Beavis and Butthead Volume 4. I'm so surprised. No. Again, there's no Blu-ray release of the movie. Beavis and Butthead to America. Where is that already? It's just kind of strange that they would... They would uh, put Volume 4 out. But they, wanna, they won't put um, the movie out. But um, this is when... Uh, this is that volume where... You know... Uh, um, when Beavis and Butthead came back, you know, this is all the episodes when they came back, and it's a shame now that they, they haven't done any more, more episodes since, Mike Judge, at least, he hasn't done any more since. I heard some about that they wanted to bring it back, but it was like, there was like some kind of like problems with it, I don't know, but, oh well, I guess, I guess it's not gonna come back, but I've always, this is probably my second favorite of animated shows, no, aside from South Park, I really like this one. That and uh, Robot Chicken, which I haven't even watched too much lately. So I know I don't have many seasons of uh, Robot Chicken. I need to get up, get up on those. But, but like you know, shows like Family Guy. I mean, I, I like The Simpsons. I kind of like Family Guy. I mean, Family Guy is not my favorite, um, shockingly. But I don't know. I, I just I just like the old school stuff like this and South Park. Well, South Park is technically new, but 
but that show's been on before I was even born, so I was born in 98. But, um, but yeah, but there's no, it looks like it's the same features. And the weird thing is, because, you know, I know the DVD set that I had, it had a, it was a two disc set. This is just a, a, a one disc set, so, yeah. Yeah, but really, really glad I got to rewatch this, watch every episode again. And hopefully, maybe at some point, which I, I seriously doubt it will ever happen because all these problems are happening. It's not going to come back on. But yeah. I don't know what the episodes are because there's no episode guide on there for some reason. Yeah. All right, this next one here I got. Because uh, you know, now I do my Blu-ray Tuesday shopping now. I don't do the videos like, you know, Cool Dude or Wet Movie 1 um, does. But um, I go to them every Tuesday. Well, I, I go there for certain movies. And this is one of the ones I got there. I got a Walmart for fourteen ninety six. And I, I watched this one, and this one was okay. It's not perfect. It's not the greatest, but um, I, I mainly got it because uh, Kristen Stewart was in this, and this is the movie. This is the all brand new uh, Lizzie Borden movie called Lizzie here on Blu-ray, which is basically um about um basically about the life and um about Lizzie Borden, and you know how she. Basically, if you don't know who she is, she was bas basically back in 1892, she killed her mother and father with an axe, and um, she was tried for it. I mean, but she um, but she was found not guilty of it. You know, Kristen Stewart on here, she plays the, a maid in here called, uh, her name is Bridget Sullivan. Chloe, Chloe Savini um, plays Lizzie. And I thought she, I thought she did a very good job playing Lizzie in this. I mean, she, she was kind of like a creepy person in this movie. But yeah, I mean, this movie, I, I would check it out. It's not like 100% perfect or anything, but I mean, I do like um, what they did with this movie. But yeah, definitely check this one out though. It, it's not, not perfect or anything, but you know, it's, it's kind of like the life of Lizzie Borden and basically like how, how she reacted stuff and why she reacted when she what she did you know all right now this next one here i got now um you'll be seeing it because i did i just recently gotten all the seasons on blu-ray so you'll every each um dvd and blu-ray update you'll see a, a season of this but i got this one i got from amazon but the rest of them i got from uh from big lots because they had them for five dollars a piece I'm really glad I got them when I did, because now they're they're just white the hell out now. But I got C Dexter Season 2 here on Blu-ray. Um, this is the only one I got from Amazon. The rest on here that I'm going to show in the future, um, I, I got at uh, Big Lots, because they had them for $5 each. So, but yeah, but this is the only one I got from Amazon. This is Season 2. So now I have every season of Dexter on Blu-ray now. Um, and it's it's really fun rewatching the show again. Um, and this is the one where, uh, where, uh, Dokes, which he's played by Eric King, I think, um, you know, he suspects that, um, Dexter is, like, a murderer. If, if you don't know what Dexter is, it's based about the serial, his cop who's a serial, serial killer and basically kills the bad people. And this one, this is also the one where, um, with that girl Lila in it, and, uh, Dexter's having, um, problems with, uh, what's her name, Rita, played by Julie Benz, and this is also the one when, um, they named, um, Dexter's murderers called the Bay Harbor Butcher, you know, I, I, I really liked, I really liked every episode I watched, I really liked every season, but yeah, but, um, that is Dexter season two here on Blu-ray, and like I said, um, the other seasons I got, I got three, four, six, seven, and eight, so those I got from, Big lots, so I'm I'm gonna be re reviewing each one of those in the future. Um, all right, the next one I got. This is another one I got from Walmart. This one I think was fourteen ninety six. I I want to say, but this is a movie called Monster Party here on Blu Ray. This one right here. I, this one was okay. Okay, I mean it, it's it got very 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 boring at first, but it doesn't go crazy. I'm not, no, no spoiler alerts, but this doesn't, it doesn't go crazy until, like, later on in the movie. 
because and later in the, like in like probably like forty or fifty minutes through, through the film, it, it gets really crazy. But this is about um, it starts off with these thieves um stealing from this one person's house, and I think this one kid he had to like pay this guy. I think it was his father or something. I can't remember what it was, but he had to pay this this guy um a certain amount of money, and he promises he would get it. And I think they end up going to this like mansion or something. Him and his, and his friends, and um, they go there to be servants or something. But um, but of course, you know, when they go there, everything goes wrong because it turns out like everyone in this mansion they're like they're recovering over sickness and their sickness happens to be murdering people so but it was just kind of crazy um the the fact that they're recovering from murdering people so they're, they're trying really hard to stop killing people and it's, it, this movie just gotten so crazy i don't know i mean this one i kind of like this one was okay i mean it wasn't the greatest of all and it, it, it went really slow because it just like I said, it didn't get crazy, like very, one hundred percent crazy until later on in the movie. But I, I did, I did like this for what it was, though. Definitely check this one out, though, if you guys haven't seen it. All right, the next one here. This is from Scream and Shout Factory. Um, I did, however, get another Scream and Shout Factory title, which I'm going to be talking about in the next uh, DVD and Blu-ray update. I just haven't watched it yet. This one, I know my mom has been wanting for a while. I got it for her, and, and for me as well, so we could both watch. Um, we, we watched it on Christmas Eve, I believe. But that is after midnight here on, on Blu-ray from Scream and Shout Factory. Now, um, this is one of those movies. This is probably one of my childhood movies. I used to watch this movie so many times as a kid. I remember this is one of those ones where I would sit sit down whenever this movie was on I would sit down and watch a certain clip of the movie I watched my favorite part of the movie I remember I was always like what is this movie what, what is this you know and this is one of those ones and the one that I was always watching the most because this is an anthology horror movie if you guys don't know but um but I always watched the one about the dogs uh, but if you guys don't know what this is this is basically about um this teacher I, I, he's like a psycho He's a professor at, at this at this um, college, and he invites his students to his to his place to tell scary stories. And there was three stories. One of them was about the uh, these uh, this couple who uh, end up and their car ends up going um ends up going wrong. Like it get it gets ends up getting torn up. Um, and they find this mansion. They go in and try to get help. And there's there's something wrong about the mansion that they just can't really think through their mind, you know. But the second one was the one about the dogs. The one about a group of these girls. They're going to uh, they're gonna get, get gas at this gas station. And this creepy guy is there with these dogs. And he gets these dogs come after him. After them. And the, the third one was about this guy being obsessed with this girl or something. I don't know. I, I always really like this one. I always really like the one about the dogs, too. I mean, watching that scene again with the, the that story with the dogs, it just brought back so many memories. But you get a couple... You get some new special features on this one. You get an audio commentary with writers, producers, and directors Ken and Jim Wheat. A new interview with actress Julian McWhorter and a theatrical trailer. But highly recommend you guys check this one out if you guys haven't seen it. And another movie, too, I really would like to get that, that recently came out from Scream and Shout Factory is Scream for Help. Because that one never was released on DVD or Blu-ray or it was just on VHS. I know the VHS has been out of print, but it's not anymore. So, yeah, really glad I got this one. Uh, the next one I got, this one I just watched last night. Um, and actually, this is one of those ones, too. It, I know it's a classic, though. I mean... I liked it. I mean, it's not something that's my favorite, but it, it just got really, really slow. I mean, but this is the, um, It's a Wonderful Life here on Blu-ray. Um, and this is the movie, um, and this has the, the has, it's a two disc set. Um, this one is the original black and white version. This two is the colored version. Um, but 
I hadn't watched the black and white version. I just watched the colored one. But this is, you know, about this guy. I forgot what his name is in the movie. But um, he ends up wanting to kill himself. And, you know, and this angel, you know, appears. And he says, no, no, you don't want to kill yourself. Here, I'll make your wish come true. And because his wish was like, um, he didn't, he wished that he never existed. And, you know, he makes that wish come true. And he basically shows him, you know, what it's like to, um, what it would be like if he didn't exist, you know, how it would be different. Um, but you know what? I, I did enjoy this for what it was. It was pretty slow, but you know what? Uh, overall, I, I liked it. Yeah, but I got this for Christmas, by the way. And the last one I got, all right, this is the DVD one. This one I got at Walmart for about $10. And I, I always kind of like these Nickelodeon movies. I mean, I know nowadays when it comes to these Nickelodeon movies, they're just not as good. But this one, however, this one was actually pretty good. I really did like this one. And I'm surprised because I don't even think this was, um, this wasn't on that schedule for the, uh, uh, on that Blu-ray.com thing. So I don't know why they didn't, they didn't say this was being released. So this is from Echo Bridge Home Entertainment. Um, and this is uh, the TV movie from Nickelodeon called Tiny Christmas here on DVD. And, you know, and this is probably one of the better ones uh, for modern day so far, you know, other than... Um, I know the last one I watched that I did not really like was uh, One Crazy Cruise. I forgot what that one was about, but I did not really like that one. This one stars Lizzie Green, which she was in a... Um, was I called? Uh, Nikki, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn, and Riley Downs. I don't know what she's from. So I don't, I don't really watch much of the uh, modern day. Show. I mean, the last modern day, like you know, show for Nickelodeon I watched, which is kind of decent. It's kind of a decent show. Is you know, Nikki, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn, and uh, Game Shakers. But this, this is basically a TV movie about um, this girl. She just basically moved. She recently moved um, into this house, and her crazy cousin, played by Lizzie Green, um, ends up staying, staying with her, you know. And there, there's this one elf in the movie, too, where he invented this thing where he can make things shrink. And I think he had, he had this job to do. He had, like, uh, to deliver these toys to these certain house, like, houses. Like, he had to do the job, jobs that Santa did. But what, it, what ends up happening is uh, the girls get up and they hear all this commotion and uh, the elf ends up shrinking them by by mistake. And, you know, basically it was they're trying to figure out how they're going to get back to normal size again. They don't know what to do. They need help. And, you know, this was actually a pretty, like, interesting movie. I really did enjoy this one. But, yeah, definitely check this one out if you guys haven't seen it. Um, and, like I said, this was a Nickelodeon movie. This is probably one of the best Nickelodeon movies so far. For modern day, meaning. Um, but yeah, I, I really did enjoy this one, though. But that is it for um, this DVD and Blu-ray update. I'm sorry, because I know I... As I... From the looks of it, it looked like that... Um, there was some stuff that had some glare in it. But hopefully you guys still saw it well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.